Grass cutter belongs to the genus of rodents. They occur in forest savanna areas throughout humid and subhumid areas in the Sahara. It is a semi nocturnal animal and they live in colonies of one male and several females. The animal burrows into the ground but may also temporarily take shelter in the hollow made by other animals. Grass cutter meat is a delicacy in countries, cities, and rural dyes, particularly in Africa. Digested grass found in stomach of grass cutter makes delicious soups, they say. Cane rats can grow to nearly 60 centimeters or 2 feet in length and weigh a little less than 8.5 kilograms. It has rounded ears, a short nose, and coarse bristly hair. Its four feet are smaller than its hind feet, each with three toes. This mammal attains sexual maturity at six months for males and five months for females. The average litter size is four in the wild, but up to 12 has been recorded in captivity. Birth in grass cutter is called parturition, and thus is imminent within three days when the expectant mother stands only on his hind legs, and it is a day away when the change in posture is combined with frequent looks at the lower abdomen. Pregnancy gestation takes up to 150 days. The CSIR Animal Research Institute of Ghana has placed the cane rodent under scrutiny at one of its field stations at Pukyase near Accra. The institute says it is willing to partner with corporate sponsors to expand grass cutter farms as a business and for supply to apprentice farmers. Research conducted on grass cutter by the CSIR Animal Research Institute looked into breeding or mating. It found the female grass cutter to be resistant to or obdurate at the new male introduced to it for mating. The experts found a way around it. If you directly bring the male to the female, they fight till one dies. So how do we resolve that issue? We had to research into it, observe them, observe them for some time. So we designed a special cage. Before we made them, the, female, the male is brought closer to the female. They will be there for a week, two or three, so that they establish some kind of a relationship. As had been told already, the grass cutter in the wild have a smaller litter size. The scientists have an explanation to this. What happens is that they see that they don't have enough nutrients that can cater for by 8, 10 or 11 fetuses that they have developed. So they have to reabsorb some, they take some of the fetuses in so that when they give birth to say 5 or 4, they can cater for that, they can have enough breast milk to feed those ones, yes. So what, then we have to solve that issue. So we have to develop special feed, which we we'll give to the pregnant doe, so that it's able to have enough nutrients in the system, so that the issue of reabsorbing about 40% of its feed also will be resolved. To emphasize this point, it is to say that the grass cutter loses some of its fetus in its belly, as it reabsorbs for nutrition. When domesticated, the animal is given nutritional supplements, which renders reabsorption needless, hence the larger later size when in captivity. Farmers in Ghana were feeding only panicle maximum and elephant grass, which was not helping the animals enough, because grasses at the onset of rains contain about 10% protein, and during the lean season, it goes down up to 3% which cannot support the optimal growth of the grass cutter. So this research station has to take it upon uh, itself to find various fees that can help to increase production or growth rate of the animals. There will be slight difference in taste of meat depending whether the animal is in captivity or in the wild. The scientists are yet to know the full range of herbs consumed in the wild by grass cutter. That influences taste of meat and hardness of bone just slightly. The scientists of the CSIR Animal Research Institute have managed to break the jinx surrounding the sex of the grass cutter. It took meticulous observation to arrive at distinctive factors. 
we have what is called the anogenital distance. This is the distance between the anus and then the male or the female organ. If we take two grasses of the same age, the distance between the anus and then the, and, and, and the penis of the male is twice that of the female. So let's assume that the grass cutter, the male has two millimeters distance between the, uh, uh, the anus and then the genital organ. The female will be four millimeters. So this also helps us to identify or distinguish between the male and the female. The combination of cheap feed and fast maturation makes grass cutter profitable for those raising the rodent for market purposes. Another reason is that they are efficient converters of wide range of vegetables and grass into meat. The grass cutter is also top of the chart of delicacy meats, at least for the African domiciled in the sub-Sahara. Napoleon Atikito for GBC News.